Hey, this is Randy Belker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Gmail, how to set up your Gmail account. Um, so the first thing we want to do is, is hop in there and, and pick up where we left off yesterday. Um, uh, popping up Google Chrome, uh, the way to get to my Gmail account is to just type in Gmail into the command line up top and hit enter. It's going to go out and search and the very top uh, response that it shoots back is going to be uh, Gmail. So go ahead and click on there <clears throat> and now you're at the home page for Gmail. Um, notice over on the right hand side this is where you put in your username and this is where you put in your password. Okay. Um, if you ever, when you put in your username and password, if you ever click this button, remember me on this computer from then on, you won't have to use your uh, username or password anymore. It, whenever you go to Gmail, it'll automatically put in your username and password. It'll shoot you straight to your email. So from then on, you'll get straight to your email without ever putting in those anymore. Uh, okay, the username we had was smoothmonkey44. Uh, at gmail.com, so I'm putting it in there, and then the password was uh, the acronym or the first letters from Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Uh, and I'm not going to click remember me in this computer because I have my other emails. I don't want it to automatically open up Smooth Monkey on my computer. Now I'm going to sign in. Um, do I want Chrome to save the password? If it's on your own personal computer, tell it yes, but no, I'm not going to do it now. Now what I've done is I've shot a few emails over to it, so we have a couple emails already populated in here, so you can see a little bit how these emails work. Um, <clears throat> these are the emails in the inbox. All right? There's, there's uh, five of them in here. Uh, one of them, there's two uh, behind each other, and you'll see that in, in a little bit. But first of all, look up at the top here. All right? You want to, here you can search uh, this is a search bar. You can search all your mail. This is going to be the way that you are going to be doing email from now on. Instead of putting your mail into folders, you're just going to um, keep your email in one big wad. You're going to archive it all so it's out of your mind, out of your thinking. But then when you want to find an email in there, you just search. Like If you want to find the email that you have uh, been sending back and forth, uh, to uh, Ben, a friend of yours named Ben. You just type in Ben to up here, and you're going to click search mail, and then all the emails that include are either from or to or include Ben in the, in the uh, uh, text of it somewhere will pop up, uh, and they'll be in date order, the most recent first, and so you'll find what it is you're looking for, and then you'll be able to respond to it and move from there. But you no longer have to store things in folders. This is one of the beauty of, of Gmail. Um, <clears throat> anyway, go up to the top here where it says settings. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We'll look at a couple of these so we can make sure that we're set up correctly. Now, most of these, the default settings are going to be just fine. Um, <clears throat> you know, you, obviously, you're going to want the English language, um, how many conversations you're going to show per, per page, um, if people have pictures uh, along with their email. You can put in a picture of yourself, so when, when you send an email, there'll be a small smiling face of you to them, that kind of a thing. Um, you can put in a signature that shows up at the bottom of all of your emails. This is where you do it. Put it right in here. Um, <clears throat> and um, let's move on over to the next one. The account. You can just read through these. Uh, they're fairly common and fairly um, uh, self-explanatory. But the next one is very interesting, dealing with accounts. Right? <clears throat> now, what this does is this allows you to send mail as another email address. See, it says send mail as. It's the first one. And then the third one down, get mail from other accounts. All right? So this is the one that's going to be very important. If you already have email accounts out there, you might have one, two, three of them. You might have one, uh, let's say you're at Southern Bell, you know, uh, John Smith at southernbell.net or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> what you want to do is you, you're going to have a username and a password for that email account. What you're going to do is you're going to uh, go get all the mail from that account, and from now on, you're going to be checking it and finding it in Gmail. Gmail is the one place that all of your other email accounts can send their email to, and so you'll have one dashboard to be able to take control of all the emails, all the messages coming in, all the me messages going out. So from Gmail, you'll be able to send um, emails 
uh, from those other accounts as well. If you want people to think that you're sending it from John Smith at southernbell.net, as long as you own that account, uh, Gmail will be happy to do that. It'll put it right up in the in the who's it from, you know who's this email from. It'll be from John Smith at uh, southernbell.net. Um, but all of it is going to be interfaced right through your Gmail account. So you'll never have to, from, from now on, you'll never have to go to any other email place to check email. Now, anyway, let's go right in there and we'll set one of them up. Um, so we're going to add another mail account. We'll click on that. <clears throat> what is the address? What was it? John, what did I say? John Smith at uh, southernbell.net. Uh, a lot of times when you have an internet service provider, they'll try and give you their email accounts. You, you, it's fine to take them, but you're not going to want to use them and go check those emails. You're going to want everything to come in through Gmail. Um, all right, the next step here, it's going to ask you for your username, whatever it is, John Smith, your password. Um, put in there, password. Whatever it is that is already your password, you should already know that. This is where you're going to be putting it in. You're going to be putting the username in here. You're going to be putting the password in here. All the rest of the stuff, you're basically just going to leave uh, alone. If you want to leave a copy over on that server uh, of your email, I wouldn't bother doing that because all of it, then you're going to have two copies of the same email. It's just going to be redundant. So just bring everything through Gmail. You can sort it and trash it. Do whatever you want right here, and you'll be done with it. Uh, <clears throat> and once you do, you just go ahead and add that account. Now, I didn't put in a good password, I didn't put in a good username, but if you put in a good username and a good password, it's going um, to connect to that account, and then it's going to go get all those emails and bring it straight into the inbox as we have it right here. Um, let me close that down. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> at the very top, uh, just because you're getting the email from that account doesn't mean you can send there. You're going to have to go into here and you're going to have to add another email address. You add... Um, this one right here, the email address is going to be, you know, John Smith at um, southernbell.net, um, and you're going to move on to the next step. All right. Now, what's what's going to happen is they're going to go ahead and send an email to John Smith at southernbell.net, and uh, you're going to have to get that response, which you already should. Remember, we just went in and had all the emails going to John Smith at Southern Bell. Now they're going to from there, be forwarded to our Gmail account. All right? So Gmail goes and gets them. So now, what you're going to do is the email that they sh just shoot out um, right here to John Smith at southernbell.net is going to be coming to your inbox. There's going to be a link in there that you're supposed to click to prove that you own that email. So go ahead and click that link, and they'll say, okay, I understand that you own John Smith at southernbell.net. From now on, you can send out emails uh, as John Smith at southernbell.net. All right, so you click on the button here for it to send the verification. Uh, it's going to shoot off, and you're going to have to click that link in your email box before you're going to be allowed to send email as John Smith um, from southernbell.net or at southernbell.net. Um, so basically, uh, in that email, they'll also give you a confirmation code you could put right in here in order to verify that you own it. So you can click the link in the email or you can put in the code that they send you in that email. You have to do one or the other in order to be able to uh, send email from that other. The joy of this is that you may have five different email accounts. Right? And all of these email accounts are sending emails, but there's one specific dashboard, which is Gmail. And that's the place where all the emails come in so you can sort them, trash them, do whatever you want. Uh, with those emails from the one location. And from that same location, you can reply to them and send as if you were sending from any of those different email accounts as well. Uh, so Gmail is excellent as a dashboard, as a place to keep everything organized in your email world, all, all the communications that you have. And right now, you may just have one email account, um, and that's great. It's still going to be useful for that. But as you get more email accounts for specific uh, things that you are doing, uh, you're going to really see the power that Gmail just puts at your fingertips for free. Um, <clears throat> all right, next we're going to be looking at uh, how Gmail, uh, how actually to use the inbox in Gmail, how to sort your mail, uh, and how to use it to it, its full, fullest capacity. Uh, so we'll see you next time.